Welcome to Television, Intense TV. I'm your host, Robert Lewis Tyler I, and tonight we have a very special episode of Television Live. Tonight we're going to have Charles Unger from Charles Unger Experience on our show doing a live performance on saxophone this evening, a little later in the show. And we have Andre Williams, from lead singer from MC Hammer on the show tonight, and of course our, my co-host, our co-host, Roland Martinez from KSUY Radio here as well. And first, uh, I want to introduce uh, both of my guests. Uh, welcome to the show, Dre hey, Williams thank you, man. Thank and you so Charles much. Unger. Thanks yeah. for making it in. Thank you, too. I know you guys had to come up from Charles from San Francisco all the way up. And then I know that you had to drive all the way from Woodland today. So I know you guys had some traffic to hit, right? Coming right. up there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I'm glad you could make it. So uh, first question would be uh, happy, you know, it's happy St. Patrick's Day, you know, so... Uh, I guess God has built, invented alcohol so that uh, the Irish wouldn't overtake the world, right? <laughs> so I quit drinking for two years, so watch out, world, right? Because <laughs> you know, a year, a little over a year ago, I was homeless, right? <laughs> you know, so coming up, right? So anyway, um, yeah, my father told me to come on the show because Pepper <laughs> Chalms remember us. <laughs> Nice, so, nice. And, uh, That's a fairly so nice accent you got there on the day of the St. Perry Bee. Right. <laughs> so I was going to try to get uh, two big MC, you know, Ray Ray from mm -hmm. Vallejo to come on yeah. the show, but his phone number was disconnected, and he said that he probably moved down to Atlanta. So right, right, so right. That, that, what was happened? A, that was the last known uh, uh, person okay. uh, that I've seen. So it'd be a while before I get one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to see the hype man from MC Hammer yeah. as well. Yeah. And um, so how, how was it working with MC Hammer? How, how is it? I mean, you're working with him right now. You got the new YouTube yeah. video out called uh, "Bring Our Brothers Home" right. video right. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So you just go in, "Bring Our Brothers Home" on YouTube, right. or um, MC Hammer like that, right? Yeah. And you type Bring in. That's why you yeah, yeah. I've okay. done MC Hammer, "Bring Our Brothers okay. Home," mm -hmm. and it, it takes you directly to the right. uh, Vivo that's, version of that's it. That's the new video you guys just did, and you shot that where in Santa Monica. Right. In Santa Monica okay. on the beach. Yeah. Right. Nice. It's, it's been a while. It's been a few years. Since and what, we what shot is that? What is it? What is that about? Is that about the war? It's about, about the war. Okay. Just, just uh, right. you know, feelings on the war right. and and the whole bring our brothers home thing. It's just nice. like a you know thing for that. Very well written. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. I saw it today and it was. Yeah. And you said you had you had uh, done something on the the new uh, the whispers new CD. Yeah, right? I I'm a writer on the whispers uh, new CD for okay. your ears only. Right. Um, been following them for a lot of years, so I, I know their sound and and you know how to put it together for them. So I have two tracks on uh, on their CD. So you're a writer, producer, artist, yeah, singer, and a musician. Uh, a little bit, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. I started out as a drummer, so musician. Nice. Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. Do you have any other hobbies, uh, creative hobbies? Like, do you do any oil painting? <laughs> you know, like, you know, is it, or is it just music? No, just basically music. Music, 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 you know, okay. water sports. Right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know. Some people have a lot, a lot of creative things. They want to do all that. Yeah, I'm trying to get more into photography now. I've been chasing yeah, yeah, chasing yeah. the moon every night uh, yeah, these last know, few days. I've seen a lot of <laughs> pictures on Facebook, people taking yeah. pictures you know, all oh over man, the nation, the world. Yeah. Well, you have the Valley of the Moon here area, too, so there's some beautiful shots if you get a full moon oh. in that. Oh, yeah, the Valley oh, of the Moon. Okay. And supposedly, yeah. through this valley, you can see it all the way, I believe, all the way to the ocean. Am I correct? From the ocean? Mm -hmm. or you, you, this, this particular view mm -hmm. of it that you get is pretty yeah. nice. And I would try Bodega Bay area also. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I have a question for you, Dre. You know, so what everybody really wants to know is when the producers of the television show called you mm -hmm. and asked you to come on, how did that feel? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. So I'm, like, oh, just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm so very Tylerish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, were you just like ecstatic? No, I'm just kidding. Like, I got half an hour to kill. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Right. Well, minute, yeah. well, we're going to do a live performance a little halfway through the show a little later on. But uh, Looking um, forward to that. But, uh, yeah, Charles, I saw on Facebook, I saw a picture of you, it said, at the Grammys Awards. Yes, yeah. yes. How, uh, what was that all about? I didn't, oh. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see any write-up. I just saw this photo. It's like a really nice picture. It was a great time. We, uh, uh, our production staff had a chance to get, go there and we had tickets. Uh, and we uh, had a nice evening uh, so socializing with the uh, hobnobbing with different uh, Performers and artists, and nice. I met some of my uh, actually my my my, my heroes. Uh, I met Diane Warwick and uh, 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 I would have loved to have Kenny uh, Garrett, wonderful alto saxophonist. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, followed over the years, so it was it was great. Yeah. You, and 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 um, who are who are some of your your heroes, Andre? Like oh. somebody that that inspired you. you know? uh, Stevie Wonder, James Wonder. Brown, oh, Peebo nice. Bryson. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Good, yeah, good, all those guys. Call. Howard yeah. Hewitt, you know, I work with him sometimes. 
doing background vocals when he was here in the Bay Area. Nice. It's so funny and, uh, that you said James Brown, and I don't mean to cut in, but I, I was having a little trouble sleeping when I was trying to take a nap, right? Yeah. So um, <laughs> have you ever had a dream that wakes you up laughing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. well, in this dream, we were expecting you, and for some reason, they had they had started changing. I'm not kidding. This is the dream. They had built a facade outside, like an overhang for a limo to come in. They started swabbing the deck, making it all slick <laughs> and everything, trying to make it new, right? Yeah. So in this dream, I start going, and I usually I usually come on the show with my house slippers, right? Because nobody sees my feet on the show, uh. right? So I'm sliding, and I hit I I hit my face on the bumper. So all of y'all who start coming out, are you okay? You okay? So I get up laughing a little bit, and I start doing the James Brown move. Well, you know that one leg slide thing that he does? Yeah. Now, I used to do a James Brown impersonation when I was a kid. You know, I used all to right. do all his moves and everything. So I started doing that one foot mix, and I hit my face on the door. <laughs> and so I was thinking, this is just too funny. I, I woke up just laughing. I'm sorry I broke in there. But the reason he says all y'all is because he just moved up here from Texas. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, right. I got the y'all. <laughs> so that's yeah. what he gets. All y'all. Yeah. All y'all got to know about it. Or well, I could yeah. be saying oil. Could be might oil. be saying oil. Oil. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the, Charles, the Charles Unger experience, can experience. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 40 years in the Bay Area, performing uh, all over, different from up and down the coast. Recently, we just did a tour of Sweden last year. And nice. And we took the CD there. We got great, great uh, reviews. Uh, did several festivals there while I was, at, while I was there in Sweden. And, and now we're back uh, promoting our new CD around the world, and uh, which we are uh, finishing up in about two weeks. And there's 14 new songs on that, and uh, it's from uh, music I've uh, I wrote uh, from different places I've visited and artists I've inspired by different artists I perform with. And uh, fantastic. Uh, and and do you do like you know do you have any other creative hobbies like do you do any oil painting or anything like? <laughs> well, actually, I was an art art major in, in, in school. Oh, I uh, I'm a he got you. professional. Uh, painter also and I have uh, oil painting? over 200 paintings on my website Charles oil painting? Experience. And do you do, pro do, you do um, like like I, I do oil paintings but I do I do like um, portraits stick oh. you do portraits or, yeah uh, I do stick uh, when only only when commissioned <laughs> yeah oh, oh when commissioned and what do you do landscapes more, more, seascapes I do more uh, uh, abstract okay, uh, landscapes yeah, yeah. floral scapes nice uh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's my uh, my forte I, I really like uh, uh, <laughs> Salvador Dali type yeah, stuff. That's oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, my that's eyes. Awesome. See, man, painting. you got to get into painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This guy got some cray painting. crayons at home. Right? Oh yeah, hey, <laughs> well, I, hey, you got to start somewhere. He did the yeah, finger painting. I'll he does start with that. Finger painting. painting by numbers. This right. mine here. That's yours. Yes, yeah. that's it. it. Must be mine. There you so, go. yeah, and about so we got about twenty minutes, and so about halfway through the show, we're gonna do a live a live performance. Can that be arranged? We could possibly do that in a little while. Yeah, I could do some. Okay. Something for you, a little something, something. All right. What's, yeah. the, what's the craziest venue you've ever been in? I'll ask you the same in a moment. <laughs> the craziest, craziest venue. <coughs> I love these. I thought this was yeah. water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna keep you here a while, man. You'll, you'll fall asleep. Yeah, well, not going anywhere. <laughs> the Tokyo Dome was the was the loudest venue I've been to. Yeah. I, th I think it was uh, fifty-five thousand. Um, how did they react to you? I mean, you're talking about Tokyo, Japan, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. for those of you who don't know, but yeah. Um, how did they react to that? When, and like after the show, and everybody signed autographs and stuff like that, is there a translator telling them, okay, they're only going to be here a few minutes, they're only going to sign so many, or because no. I've, I've always wondered how the foreign shows, because I've been yeah. on stage too and everything, and then had to do all that, but only in Texas. So <laughs> when you're talking about different countries, do they handle that different? Uh, it's about the same, you know. It's all universal musically. Uh, they understand fans the fans, music. Yeah. yeah, they love the music, understand the music, and they're big fans of American music anyway. So it's it's very exciting there. Uh, Do you think maybe that's how they learn their, their English phonetically? I think so. I think so. Too. You know, that's yeah. how they learn to dance. I mean, Soul Train is on there uh, seven days a week. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, we get oh, yeah. Uh, we get one one day, one day a, week. a week. Yeah, one day a week, and it's on seven days a week there. So a lot of great dancers there in Japan, what's believe the, it or not. What's the weirdest thing ever happened to you on stage? Uh, I've had many weird people incidents. People bum rushing <laughs> up there. And oh, well, yeah, also. Well, I'll tell time. you what. In, yeah. uh, um, what's the place? Uh, Trinidad. Yeah. You know, at the end of the show, he, he, he uh, offered people to come up on stage and dance. And it was like 30,000 excited fans. Mm. You know, we had too many. We had to stop the show because... 
they just broke the gate down and everybody started coming on, you know. You got to worry about those stages yeah, collapsing, too. Yeah, yeah. You got many bodies moving on. Yeah, yeah. How about you, sir? You, you, when, what's, what's the best venue you can think of? What's your favorite place to play acoustic-wise? Sweden oh. or? Well, that, well <laughs> my, the f best place I played last year was uh, in a place in Gothenburg, Sweden. They had a, a cultural festival there, and, uh, and uh, we had uh, at least uh, 5,000 out there for that festival. Uh, for my show, and that was uh, very, uh, how do you say, they, they're very knowledgeable of American music there also, and they, they really like uh, jazz and R&B, and that, that, was, that went over very well. Speaking of, speaking of uh, jazz and R&B, you had this, uh, maybe we could bring up that, uh, that graphic from the, um, from the, the smooth, the vision of jazz <laughs> poetry and blues, right? Yes. Let's put some smooth jazz. There we go, right oh up there here. Can, yeah, you, can yeah. you explain what that's all about, uh, Charles? Well, that's our monthly series in San Francisco at a place called the Peacock Lounge. We do, uh, uh, we back two uh, very uh, good writers, uh, Beverly L. Kareem and uh, Darlene Roberts. Mm. And they are extremely uh, talented uh, nice. uh, writers. Uh, Beverly has, has written actual lyrics for my uh, Mr. 2 AM that we perform on a regular basis. Uh, this Thursday, we're going to be back there, 6 to 10 p.m., and we'd like to invite everyone that can make it to please come out. And that's down on Haight Street? That's uh, 552 Haight Street. Okay. Yeah. At the Peacock Lounge. All right. Peacock Lounge. Yeah. Nice. And uh, so, you know, why don't we set up, uh, maybe you could do, do play uh, Mr. 2 AM for me right right now. So yeah, could, I could, could play you, a few, could you, could play you a little, hit play that a little bit play for you that? guys. Okay, so, so while waiting for that beat to drop, I'll just put me on uh, camera. One here, and I'll introduce that that little live performance. Not little, that live performance we'll do right here in the studios in uh, Napa Valley. We'll bring you in right on camera three while we wait for that beat to drop. So we'll roll that. There we go.
excellent, <laughs> outstanding, yeah. another stellar performance. I can't remember the name of the artist who did it, but back in the high school when I was in a uh, in band, I was in jazz band, and we had a uh, I had a duet with a uh, tenor sax. I was playing flugelhorn at the time for a song called "Round Midnight." Do you remember? Oh yeah, that? you heard that one. Great Thelonious Monk composition, yes. Yeah, that, oh, I miss that. I miss those days playing the horn like that. Because my embouchure ain't right for it no more. I've <laughs> been a while. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna wear my hat like the one you have on, but it matches this this jacket, you know. And I was gonna wear that hat, and I and I thought, nah, I'm not gonna wear it, you know. Oh. Try to cover up my my uh, wrinkled I, forehead. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, you can wear. Uh, oh. I'll, I'll I'll wait. I'll okay, wait till okay. I'll wait till okay. next. So t next to Pink, because it's always a pleasure working with you guys. So next next time you guys come on, I'm gonna sport it, <laughs> so, you know. Because so, uh, um, you know um, now you have you have a you have a uh, that CD that's out. Well, the video's out on YouTube right now, yeah, right? That yeah. uh, bring our brothers home. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could play a little bit of that um, the CD because uh, uh, we have a CD. It's uh, it's uh, what color is that CD? That was a. Uh, the black, the black one, yeah, yeah. We could play, uh, play just the, the beginning of that. Now that's actually she's every woman, isn't it? Right. That, I'm that, sorry. That's right. Okay. I was gonna ask My you. mistake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we I apologize. Yeah. Give me, yeah. Give me. Okay. She's every woman, and and uh, you wrote this song, right? Yeah, I wrote and what this song. And while we're waiting for that beat to drop, what inspired you to write this it's song? It's a brand new Drake. release that my beautiful wife inspired. Nice. She's every woman. And uh, so I brought it, that in to share it with you, and uh, you know, fantastic. Yeah. So, so you you wrote it, sang it, produced, produced it, produced it, and so I play, played all the instruments on it. You know, Here whole nine yards. Yeah. I don't think we have a graphic for this, but we'll just watch everybody groove to it. I suppose. <laughs> Tell her sweet perfume from the caress. She's winter, spring, summer, and fall. I'll take them all. Where did you record this at? I recorded it at my studio. Your I have studio. a studio up in Clear Lake, California. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's not very far from here. No, it's about uh, maybe it's another, throw away, right? another hour and a half or something. Up, hour. up valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Smooth. Nice, yeah. nice atmosphere, writing atmosphere up there with all yeah, the mountains and the water. Yeah, just let me by the know. lake. And yeah, yeah. It's quiet. You can right. just write. Yeah. Get creative and develop. Yeah. Nice harmonies there and everything. Yeah, thank Very you. nice. I originally wrote this for John Legend, but I didn't get a call back whether he was going to do it or not, so right. I decided to do it myself. <laughs> it's always the best way yeah. sometimes. You, know? <laughs> you want it done right, do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. 
So, you know, at the end of the show, everybody wants to have a pen and paper because if they want to get a hold of Charles Unger from Charles Unger Experience or they want to get a hold of Andre Williams from lead singer from MC Hammer here, all that information in the show. We got the websites, the emails, we got the phone numbers, the addresses, the Facebook, you know, all the uh, social media. We got all the... Uh, the YouTube channels, you know, whatever you need to get a hold, you know, whenever you need to get a hold of these guys, right? Got their PIN numbers and their bank accounts listed up there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we, didn't do, we, didn't, we didn't type that in. Yeah, get your PIN ready at the end of the show. Because right. <laughs> right? at the end of the show, we're going to roll like a minute and a half of credits, right? And we got new sponsors. We got a lot of new sponsors on the show. We're going to have a limousine service start picking people up right here in the valley and bringing them to the show and bringing them home. Limousine service. We're going to have new furniture. Uh, we have a new sponsor. <laughs> so, and uh, we got Sal the flower guy. He's bringing these flowers in every week for a year now. It's like 52 flower arrangements right now. Sal the flower guy, one of our. Uh, and we have a new, we have uh, Ned's barbecue. We got that. At the, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't bring the barbecue. The, where, did you bring the barbecue in? Did he, he's in charge of the thing. He, <laughs> he didn't bring any barbecue in for us. <laughs> Ned's <laughs> barbecue, what happened? What's up with that? You but no, he's our new <laughs> client and, and he's our new sponsor. He will oh. be bringing it in. <laughs> maybe not tonight, but maybe next week we'll start it. I'll have to save you some. <laughs> I'll save you a plate. I'll put it aside, you know. We also have um, Doc's Trophy Shop here in town. And I, I wanted to uh, present this award right now. If you wanted to, uh, you, want, uh, you, can, you, you go ahead and read off. The teleprompter, we couldn't find it. It's, it's hiding. So uh, Roland will go ahead and read the, the, the new teleprompter, which you have to have done manually All by right, somebody well, in the, our, our live studio audience. Right? Right, do I get a little FaceTime also while I'm at it, Barry? Uh, that's All right. Okay. So the nominees for live performance guests of the month are Drew. <laughs> no, and that's Dre <laughs> Williams. He doesn't know how to spell yet. No. I mean, how to read. D R E means Dre. Look how we wrote that. No, I had no, it's it's no somebody Will. put their thumb through the sure. Williams. I think that, Williams. I think that no, was the W was uh, tied one of, in one there. One of the other cameramen. <laughs> All right, let's start over. Ralph Diamichis is our floor manager. Take. A little shout out to him. He's a fantastic Take two. guy. Yeah. All right. Very, so the teleprompter is missing. The nominees for live performance guests of the month are Drew Williams. Drew. Well, you wanted to say it. Drew, Dre so Williams. Okay, am I, saying, am I reading this story? You. All right, hold on. The nominees this for guy. live performance guests of the month are Dre Williams and, the, and uh, Charlie Unger. And the award goes to, drum roll please, envelope. All right. And the winner is, where's my lighter? I want to light. <laughs> Mr. Charles Unger, everybody. Oh, right. Charles, right. this is right. the live performance uh, artist oh. of the month. Here, guest wow, of the month on the Tyler Ridley Show. So, he even has my business card oh. logo on the front. So, <laughs> if you use my business card, you can still get the picture. Uh, <laughs> share with Ray. Get out of the there you go. There. Get the handshake yeah, promo. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, I know one you of these days, you know, I'll win one of those. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. I, I, I'm, I, we're, I'm honored and uh, I'm honored to be here with Mr. Dre Williams. Yeah, man. yeah that's yeah. my old golf yeah. trophy. Yeah. I just took off the man. little man on the top. No. <laughs> Yeah, you're I'm supposed to find some jazz. <laughs> I want, I want yeah, that Ned's barbecue coming. Yeah, yeah. Card, yeah. Can see that. check that out. Maybe the next trophy will be a rib or something. <laughs> no, the next trophy will be, be just like this one. I think it's going to be the same, but it'll have a different name on it. It might, you know, it might be Dre Williams. <laughs> not, no, not true, but Dre. Hey. He, he, he's been watching you on YouTube all day. You should know how to pronounce your name. Right? I, well, at first glance, I read Drew. You know, I haven't even been home to watch it on YouTube yet. You know, so. And I do apologize. We've got, about, oh, we got no. about five minutes left. Do you guys yeah. have any shout-outs you want to do um, um, to anybody at home or into our live TV studio audience here? Yeah, I, I'd like to uh, uh, shout-out to my wife who uh, inspired that, that single, uh, uh, Every Woman. Fantastic. Definitely. Yeah, beautiful lady. Yeah. She's a She's good friend of mine, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah good friend of mine. A great inspiration. Also my, my young yeah. cousin, beautiful uh, song. Edward Carrington uh, III. Okay. Who played a little saxophone on I noticed that alto player. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, song. man. He, he's Never. been playing yeah. uh, probably three nice. or four years now. Oh, three yeah. Four years. Yeah. 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 You're in the Bay Area? Yeah. yeah, he's in Oakland. Oh, he cool. Lives in Emeryville. He lives okay. In Emeryville. Nice. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. I'm yeah. so yeah, thoroughly proud of that. him. He's come a long way. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Man. And uh, Charles, you, you had anybody you want to say hi to? Yeah, I'd like to send a shout out to my beautiful wife, also, Valencia. and. And all my staff over at the uh, Babies Productions and Amanda and uh, Sam Peoples. And, uh, God, she's just a whole litany of people now. I would love to say thank you to you, but then you guys know who you are. <laughs> Behind the scenes, Tamika and the gang, you know. 
Darlene and uh, Beverly Alcarim and their girls, some wonderful people that uh, that help uh, keep this experience happening. You know, and that that event is going to be on Thursday, March twentieth, two thousand fourteen, at six p.m. to ten p.m. Uh, five five two Haight Street, San Francisco at Peacock Lounge. Do you have any events uh, coming up right now? Uh, we just right? did Arizona <coughs> two nights ago, but uh, the next event is not with with Hammer is not until next month what else, what else? so i don't have some, any i'm, I'm, I'm doing some big band stuff around okay. uh Where's i this? have uh lake county it's a private wedding though coming up uh, nice that you know I, up I do, at lake uh, county yeah, we yeah know. it's more of a big band gig <laughs> yeah but i do uh sacramento i think i have that coming up on the 28th cool at uh sterling bridges sterling bridges yeah on the 28th yeah, of yeah this month? kind of okay. a big bound big band sound you know nice. so i do nice. big band and r and b right. just depends you and, know and how did that thing go in arizona anyway Oh, man, it's beautiful. It's, it's great. Cool. Yeah, nice. we had a good time. How's the weather been yeah. down there? Oh, 80. 80. Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah. That's, that's like good that. for Arizona. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, so the, the 120s, well, I can't do those. Tyler. So, yeah, just one quick shout-out for yeah. the, the Jazz Bistro. Right. I'm there every Wednesdays and Fridays with my uh, a unit of people, Leisureland Jazz Bistro. Okay. 44 mm -hmm. Ellis. 44, all right. Ellis, 44 <laughs> Ellis Street. So I, I got I got some quick shout outs I want to do too while I'm here. So I'm just going to say, uh, uh, boy, howdy, uh, guest of the Tyler Vision Show. We stay in altered states. Transportation provided by a slow boat from China. And we'd like to thank our guests, <laughs> Dre Williams right here, Andre Williams from MC Hammer, lead singer, and Charles Unger from Charles Unger Experience right here, and Roland Martinez, KSBY Radio right here on my side, my co-host and our sponsor, Sal the Flower Guy, Doc's Trophy Shop, right over here on Jefferson, Ned's Barbecue, where's the BBQ, man? And <laughs> next week, all right? And then we have a new limousine service coming up. Gonna bring our, our clients right here to the door and take them home after each show right here in the valley. Um, also, I wanted to say shout out to our live studio audience and our TV studio audience, the best in the world, Napa Valley TV studio audience is the best in the world. So we got a, a new car for our live studio audience right here. And we got some headshots for our, for signed headshots for everybody in, this, in the studio today. And so God bless you and yours. Remember on YouTube, Television 707. So pretty much uh, we're out of here. And what we want to <laughs> do now is probably be a good photo op for the newspapers, get, right? I didn't get to do my shout-out. Uh, do a shout-out. Oh. You got, you got, you got, All right, Roland Martinez for KSVY 91.3 Sonoma, California, 7 8 on Tuesday nights. Also here in Napa World, you can catch us every Friday at Ned's Barbecue, the food mill, from 8 to 12. Also 8 to 12 over at Stone's Sports Bar and Lounge over on Imola Street. And you can get us there as well. And uh, you can listen yeah. out for the radio station here pretty yeah. soon because um, I'm going to talk to this man. Is this going to be a long man. story? Because yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to talk to this man and see if we can work out some kind of interview on my near. Oh, play some new stuff on there. Oh, yeah. My country yeah. fans will dig it. Yeah. I'll, I'll make <laughs> thank it. you again for having me. Oh, thank you. It's yeah, always yeah, a pleasure thank to you, have man. you on the show. Yeah. You know, you guys, thank you. Young, young gentlemen, are always welcome to come back and do another broadcast sometime live. And then this will rebroadcast. Saturday night late at 11.30. Okay. It's live streaming online. So if anybody wants to watch it Saturday night, yeah. 11.30 at night to midnight, it's mm -hmm. going to be live streaming online. So you can watch it then as well. And, uh, so um, that's all your shout outs for today. That's all my shout outs. Oh, yeah. yeah, since, since you're, since you're, you're Neelix1, Neelix1 Karaoke. Karaoke. Right. Com. You can yeah. check out our whole list and places where to go there. So if you're if you're playing at, at Ned's Barbecue, why didn't he send me some barbecue? No, I'm just <laughs> I had his barbecue. It's <laughs> awesome. Did you? What, oh, did you yeah. have the chicken? No, he gave us a couple of the chicken.